Εδώ είμαστε λίγο μετά τι 8. Πρέπει να βιαστούμε όμω γιατί στην άλλη άκρη τη γραμμή έχουμε τον Άντι Γκίλ των θρηλυκών Gang of Four. Hello, Άντι. Hi there. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, I'm very good. Yeah. All right. So, are you ready for Athens? Oh, I'm very much ready for Athens. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was last time we played there. We did that uh, big festival, mm. and you know we loved it, and can't wait to come back. Mm-hmm. Can you tell us a few words about your latest album? What happens next? What happens next? Mm. Well, you know, it was something that I didn't want to. I didn't want to kind of do a retro repeat of you know very early Gang of Four. I wanted mm. it to just I wanted it to go where wherever I felt it should go, and I think that's that's basically the ethos of, yeah. of where of where Gang of Four has always been. You know, mm. it's like mm-hmm. we don't we don't do one genre. You know, I do whatever it feels right. Mm. You know, and I think that's that's what with what happens next. I think that's what uh, that's what we did. Is is this the second chapter of uh, Gang of Four? Kinda, you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, I think mm. uh, yes. I mean, Gang of Four has been through a few chapters. To be honest, you mm. know, I mean, there was the very early um, uh, thing, and then you know that, and then we didn't do stuff for a little while, and then a, a different com- a different formation came together with a different rhythm section. So I mean, there's been different. Things all the time, all the time, but I, I guess this you could you could call this the last few years as a as a new mm, chapter, mm. a second chapter, mm-hmm. if you like, a major chapter. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel really being on stage after so many years, Sandy? Well, it's it's kind of uh, second nature to me now. It's, mm. it's uh, you know it's it's something that I've done so many times that it's. I mean, I think the interesting thing is is that it's every time is is kind of a unique time. It's mm-hmm. a unique experience, uh, and you know, every audience is, is is different, and every sort of performance is different. So it continues to be a kind of exciting thing as as to where how the thing will go and, mm. and what's involved, you know, and, and who gets. Who gets it and who doesn't? You know, it's, that's the way it goes. Yeah. What's going on uh, with uh, Europe? Uh, I'm talking about you. No, the economic crisis. Mm-hmm. Mm. Your opinion? Yeah. yeah. Your opinion about? It's it's interesting. I mean, um, a lot of uh, g- Greek um, mm-hmm. writers have actually have asked me that question. Yeah. You know. I guess so. Um, Uh, you know, and, and I, th- I suppose it's because everybody knows that the Gang of Four has always been writing about mm. things which which maybe have a political, economic, sociological kind of content. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is it, it is interesting. Uh, it's very interesting to me what's going on. I mean, I think you know, uh, yeah, and, and of course, there's this potential Brexit coming up for mm-hmm. Britain, mm-hmm. Britain in a few years. So we're in uh, kind of ex- kind of extraordinary times. But I, you know, I, I think something that a lot of people in Britain uh, uh, we're looking at the situation in Greece yeah. with so many immigrants coming in, and and the rest of Europe having a big panic attack about the immigrants mm-hmm. coming in, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you know, and just feel. How difficult the pressure is for Greece, and you know it just mm. feels you know you feel you think how you know how, how can Greece deal with these these problems? I mean, it, mm-hmm. and, and nobody nobody has a particularly clear answer. You mm-hmm. Know. Mm-hmm. But, but um, and then there's the whole situation of um, Greek uh, Greek debts um, and whether the the loans from the European Union are actually. Uh, are, are helping or or not? If mm. they're helping mm-hmm. or if they're a hindrance, yeah. you know, um, um, and a lot of people have pointed out, in, including uh, Varoufakis, yeah. you know, the, no, yeah. that yeah, these, these, Varoufakis, debts, yeah. these debts are almost impossible to repay. So, mm. you know, so it's a difficult situation. Mm. Andy, here's a tricky question. Let's go for a trip with a time machine. For the next mm-hmm. 24 hours, past or future, and where and what? <laughs> Sorry, time machine. You know, yeah, let's go for a ride, for a trip with a time machine. Yeah. yeah. Past or future? 
And where, um, where and why, really? <laughs> Can you tell us? Yeah, that, 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 is, that is a tricky one. Yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> I told you I so. Mean, obviously, the, the, the future is uh, mm. you know incredibly unknown, um, and, and and the past. There's so many different times in the past that are completely fascinating that mm. you know you kind of that you would uh, you know like to have been in. Um, and and what could you have done with it? You know, what could you mm. have done with that experience? Yeah. You know, I think it'd be. Um, It would be quite terrifying to go into the future to see what we've, what you know, what humanity has mm -hmm. managed to mess, mm -hmm. has managed to mess up, you know. Um, so maybe, maybe that would be the one to go into the future and see, just just to see um, uh, how, how badly uh, we've we've got things wrong. But that would be that would be a very pessimistic answer. Mm -hmm. Maybe um, maybe it's better to go back. Um, Uh, and uh, maybe maybe go back to ancient Greece. That would be quite entertaining. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Thank yeah. you. Adi. What was the first record you ever bought? Really? Do Do you remember? Yeah, I think it was. I think it was uh, Jimi Hendrix. Um, it was. Um, I think it, there was a record called Axis Boulder's Love, which oh, I think was maybe right. maybe maybe his second record or something. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, before that, you know, um, relatives had given me things like you know Beatles singles and stuff, which are, which I was kind of interested in, but I didn't really love, you know. Mm. Um, but um, so I mean, I think you know, Jimmy, when Jimi Hendrix appeared, uh, when, you know, when I was a kid, um, he was, it just felt very revolutionary. Yeah. You know, mm. and, And completely different. Uh, that was the first thing that I, you know, bought. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. And closing the interview, tell us something mm. you've never told an interviewer before. An inside story, may maybe. From, um, mm, from the early years, whatever. It's up to you. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, but, uh, yeah, I've never told anybody. Um, I've never told him an interview with this before, but uh, a very, very long time ago, we were um, uh, we, we did one of our first gigs on the south coast of Britain uh, in mm -hmm. a, a town called a town called Brighton mm -hmm. on the on the south coast, mm -hmm. and um, I was sharing. Uh, so we played the gig, and I was sharing the hotel room for some reason with the bass player. Mm -hmm. So he was in his bed, and I was in my bed. And got up in the morning, and I I was didn't have any clothes on. He got up in the morning, he didn't have any clothes on, and he said, "I don't feel very well." And I stood in front of him, and then he vomited all over me. Come on! Uh, and um, and that was one of the most disgusting experiences of my <laughs> life. Uh, <laughs> so you asked me to tell you something. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And, uh, thank you. So, um, thank you. I'm, I hope I haven't. I hope you're not eating, or you know. I hope you're, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm the, <laughs> thank you very, very much for your time. Yeah. See you yeah, in Athens great, really soon. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank yeah, you again. Cool. Bye, nice bye. To you. bye, bye. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye. Yes. Bye, bye.